Because they don't like it. Okay, so video's on. Let's get this, you know. Well, it's funny because I have a kid in first period. I won't name names because you might know him. And he sits right where Abby is. So, so you talk, so take him? Yeah. And so that's the first you fight? First period is you can identify the man now. You don't need to talk to her that way. Like not even close. Uh, what's his name? Okay, not appropriate. It doesn't sound like a joke. I don't care. He talks the whole class, but it's like under, you know, it's not even that loud, but everyone can hear it. So that's the class where I do my math one videos. I have four of the classes, but I record in first period. And it's funny. I get parents sending me the funniest. That kid's hilarious. I mean, he just, it's funny. So um, anyway, the video is on. So we have exponential equations. And basically, if you have B to the X, and equals b to the y. So what's our base here? B. Do y'all know what that means? No. Where did you learn that? Yes. Therefore, x equals y. So, for example, if you have 3 to the x equals x equals 3 to the fifth, therefore, x equals what? 5. Y. No. Y. The base is the same. Mm -hmm. Therefore, because of this, I could go through in geometry and prove how this is equal. Mm -hmm. The base has to be the same. Bingo. Okay. No work needed for that example. What if there's like three? We'll get there. We'll get there. Stop thinking ahead. We'll get there. I promise. Just because Cameron asked for it. Two to the X equals eight to the third. No. Nope. Hold on. So in the first example, what was our base? Three. No work needed. Two to the X equals, look at eight. Can I not go backwards and make this a two? No, no dividing. Think exponents. What is two to the third power? Eight. So you're going to rewrite this two to the third. Make sure you see that's the same as eight. I'm not done. I'm not done. Y'all get ahead. Just slow down. Just everybody slow down. Okay. Two to the third. Actually. Uh, I think yellow shows up better from your end. I'm going to rewrite this using color so you can see the same. All right, so you have 2 to the x equals 8 to the third equals 2 to the third. And that 3 is the same as that 3. That just moves down. All I did is rewrite this 8 as 2 to the 3rd. Okay. Now what's the base? 2. 2. So we can just bring this back down. Uh, rules of exponents. What do I do with this 3 and that 3? Y'all remember? Multiply. Multiply. What's 3 times 3? Nine. 9. Good. 2 to the ninth. Just going to bring this down. So what is x equal to? 9. 
x equals 9. Base is 2. No, but you have to make sure it's the same. This is not true if, so if you look at this part here, B has to equal. They have to, if it if not, it's not, I guess it would be called prime, if you will. We'll do more. It'll catch on. So let's do is that good? Um okay. Nine. Two X minus one equals three to the six X. So my two bases are nine and what? Three. Three. Those aren't the same, right? So I need to move something around. How can I go? Well, does anyone have an idea? I don't want to tell you. Square nine. Why do you see? You're right, but why? Because it's three. Right. If you look at nine, you can. That's not going to show up. This is the same as three squared. You see that? Three squared is nine, and then you just rewrite this exponent. Two X minus one equals three to the six X. So what is the base now? Three. Okay, but what do we have to do to these exponents? Right, you got to distribute. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Two. Two times two x minus one. Which is what? Four x. Good. So now we are at three to the four x minus two equals three to the six x. This one requires a little more work. Do you to combine the four and six? Well, so watch what I'm doing. It's just algebra now, algebra one. Well, because now that my bases are the same here, mm -hmm. I know this is equal to that. Okay. You see how the three and three, so I know this is equal to that. Okay. The goal is we're solving for our variable. So has anybody got an answer? Taylor, what'd you get? I got negative one. Okay, anybody else get negative one? I got a fraction. All right, well, let's do it. Um, you need to subtract 4x. Okay, just a reminder, why am I subtracting 4x? It's positive, right? Goodbye. So you bring down negative 2. 6 minus 4 is 2x. Divide by negative 2. x equals negative 1. Good job. So you can't move the two first? Well, you can't add two on both sides? No. Fraction. There's nothing to add the two to. Would you like to move it to the other side? Can you can add two, but then you're going to have to move this 6x over. What do you do by positive? Negative. Divide by negative. How about you divide the two on the two x? Sorry. You're right. I'm looking at that. It was backwards. You're right. Answer is negative one. You are dividing by positive two. Negative two over positive two is negative one. Sorry, my fault. Yes. Did you have started it by cubing three to six x? Could they both have the same base? Or you Why would you cube it? So it would match the number. You would square it. Not yeah, cube it. Um, I would, yeah, you would square, so it would be mm. 
I'd have to do all this type of sheet of paper. Um, no, I want to know. I'll try it in a second. Or you can try it. Um, any questions on that? All right, let's do one by yourself. I'm going to put it down here in the cute little corner right there. Try this one. 5 to the 5x equals 125 to the x plus 2. Guys, this is not that hard. What's going on here? Are we starting to check out? How do you go? What's the what's the base we're looking for? Five. I want to get to five. How can I go from five to one twenty-five? Okay. No, no, no. You have to think exponents. We're in exponential functions. Cubit. Cubit. Five to the third power. You get your calculator out. Play around. Oh, I did five to twenty-five. Five to the third is the same thing. So I'll five to the third is one twenty-five. Bring down this. So then you're going to multiply 3 times x plus 2, which is 3x plus 6. So you say 5x equals 3x plus 6. What do you have? 3 is the correct answer. So just a refresher on Algebra 1. Okay, we got variables on two different sides. I got my number on one, so I'll leave this alone. I'm going to subtract 3x here, and 5 minus 3 is what? 2x equals 6 divided by 2, and x is equal to 3. Mm -hmm. I'll let you write that down. Here's another one. I'll give you two more. Y'all ready? Oh, wow. All right. Try this one. It's kind of, hold on. Three to the X equals nine to the fourth. And then try this one. Remember, exponents. You want to get to an exponent. Solve for x. You, the bases need to be the same. Always. Remember, that's the whole formula. I don't know. I just need x. You, in order to get the right x, you have to have the same base. In order to have the same base, you got to do the work. Okay.
So if you need help, this first one, I'm rewriting nine as three squared. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here, my base is what? Three. So now, what'd y'all get for this? Right. Two times four is eight. Bring this down. X is equal to eight. Did you get it? All right. So what do I want to do with this over here? The second one. Okay. So this will be two squared. Okay. The whole point is I want the base to be two. Okay. Two squared. And don't forget your two X minus one. You get 2 to the 4x, yeah, minus 2. Bring this down. 2 to the 5x. 5x equals 4x minus 2. You get a negative number. What is it? Negative 2. Uh, watch your math. It's probably just this step here. So if you have minus 4x, that's just, you got it? All right. Y'all want to do the Kahoot now? It's just more practice. Okay. Uh, use your notes um, section. Write the problem down. I'm not going to